When we first came here to Calusa County, uh, and the first time uh, we drove out here to this property that, that I had actually seen it, there was nothing here. I mean, there, was no, there were no houses. There was a, a, a barn and a shop. And um, I believe the Grange was leasing it at the time, so it was just all pasture land, or you could dry land farm, either barley or alfalfa. And that was the sum and total of what you could do on this property until the canal came through. Dry land farming, an explanation of that would be you, ha you have no irrigation at all. You don't have a, a well, you have nothing. So you plant your crop hoping that you will get enough rain to sustain it through to harvest. So you were really at the whim and whimsy of nature and uh, it could either be really good or <laughs> really bad. But back in, in, the, in that time, we always seemed to get a pretty good amount of rainfall. Um, then to so, show the difference between the canal situation that we have now and that dry land farming, where you were so limited, um, a group of men from Calusa County decided they would approach the federal government about a canal system that would go through the west side of uh, Glen and County and uh, Calusa County and down to Dunnigan to open up the possibilities here on the west side so that the, the options of crops to grow were, were better, uh, the money for the crop was better, so it improved life uh, all up and down any scale you want to use to measure it with. And uh, they started that in the early 70s. Um, we had the um, groundbreaking kind of celebration of our part of the canal here that goes through the ranch and, and uh, is part of 4M Water District uh, in uh, 1979. And I believe we got our first water either late that year or in the spring of 1980.